Hey guys, so this is my first time recording a video like this. I already know I need to get a microphone because it's gonna, it, it's just taking the microphone off of this webcam that I got, but I'm trying to do like a reaction type video. So this is my first go at it and I figured I would do kind of just looking at the Bath and Body Works Halloween stuff for this year because I'm super excited about it. Um, it looks like they have a lot of cool stuff. So I'm just gonna go through and this has like everything on it. Um, so I figured we would go through this. I thought, okay, so it has like <clears throat> the individual stuff. So the first thing is a new scent, which is Enchanted Candy Potion. And it sounds like it smells really good. And now I can't find where I had the description of this. I could have sworn something else had the description of this scent. But basically, it was like a very candy-ish, sweet-smelling scent. So I am hoping they have this in something other than just body cream, because I tend to buy these and then never use them. I don't use lotion all that much. I don't know why. Um, and then this is one of the many wallflowers that you will see this year. They have the Haunted Tree. I didn't see a Haunted House one, although we are going to go through them all, so I'm wondering if there's a Haunted House one this year. I usually always get the Haunted House one. Um, this one's kind of cute. It's got bats in it. It's got an owl. It looks like it lights up pink. Um, but there's cooler ones, so <laughs> let me just go through these. They have a Witch Hand with Ivy soap holder for the um, the foaming soaps and it, look, it looks like they made a bunch of witch hand stuff this year because that candle holder last year was so, like it sold out I couldn't get it like I was going to get that and I looked everywhere and could not get that damn candle holder and I refused to pay way too much on eBay for it so they have a, a uh, hand soap Ivy hand sleeve is what it's called. $25 for a soap holder is kind of expensive. Um, and I have the skull soap holder from last year still in my bathroom. So that was like my favorite thing from last year. Oh, okay, they have the Enchanted Candy Potion Spray, which I will most likely end up getting. Um, again, I don't remember where I saw the scent description for it, but it sounded really good. So that is just the spray. Kind of, um, last year when they had, I believe it was a shower gel and a spray of the Wicked Vanilla Woods, it kind of had like sparkly mica in it. And I'm surprised they didn't do that again this year because that was really cool. Um, pumpkin carving candle, they have this every year. I don't usually get this one because I'm not too fond of that scent. I'll probably get hate for that, but I'm not a big fan of the pumpkin carving scent. Then we have another wall wallflower holder, which is a cute little black cat with a purple witch hat. Um, that one is cute. I, I won't end up getting that one because I know there was other ones I wanted more. There's a little, this seems new, a holder for hand sanitizer. Is that hand sanitizer spray or just the little mini perfume sprays? I don't know, but that's 10 bucks for a little bat-shaped spray holder. Um, it says, my wings flap and my eyes and fangs glow in the dark. I'm not sure if that means it has batteries in it. Sanitizing spray, ho sanitizer spray holder. Okay, so that's what that is. I don't ever see them selling hand sanitizer sprays that often, so it might be like a limited thing. I'm not sure. Um... Another, all right, this is just a simple little jack-o'-lantern wallflower. Nightlight neon jack-o'-lantern. So that one does light up, so it's a $23 one. Um, this one I got last year. This is the Crystal Ball Wallflower Fragrance Plug. This one also lights up. It lights up like purple. And I have kind of like a, a witchy crystal theme going on in my upstairs bathroom. So this that was why I had to get this one last year. It's just perfect for my decor in there. This is, oh, I hadn't seen this one yet. I must have skipped over it. Black Cat Single Wick Candle Holder. I like that they're doing more single wick candle holders because I have more of the single wick ones than I do of the big ones, I think. But um, this one's super cute. I know the Witch Hand was a single wick one, which I think is another reason it sold so well last year. 
candy corn lip gloss. I got, um, oh, do it. yeah, look, I still have it right here because I don't have that much left of it. I got this spooky berry one last year and I wish I had gotten more because this, it's just such an awesome scent slash flavor. Super sweet and berry-ish. Not sure how candy corn will be. I kind of wish they brought the spooky berry one back because I want more of that one. Um, oh, there's an enchanted candy potion three wick candle. I might end up getting the candle in the spray. I'm trying to limit my list here because I spent so much on Halloween stuff from here last year, but it seems like they have more stuff that I want this year. Then there's an enchanted candy potion uh, pocket back and a wallflower scent. See, I kind of want to see if I like the scent before I get the wallflower though, because the wallflowers are so strong. If I don't like it, I'm going to be pissed. This is really cool. Um, they had some cool pedestal ones last year too, but $70 is so much for a freaking candle holder. Um, as cool as that eyeball one is, I will most likely not get that. Then there's this cute spider web one. I don't like gold. Gold doesn't go with anything in my house, so I'm probably not going to get this one. Plus I have a spider web lantern one from a couple years ago that kind of looks like this. It has a little spider with the gem the gem on it. Um, this is super cute. It's a blingy ghost hand sanitizer holder for the pocket bags. Um, it looks like little Swarovski crystals or something. Ghoul Friend, that's a candle I get every year. That is a really good, if you've never smelled it, it's kind of like a strawberry scent. Um, strawberry and floral. It's super good. I don't need another one, but I really like the, uh, the artwork on this one this year. And then Ghoul Friend Bath Fizzy. I don't recommend their bath bombs um, because they, they smell really good. And then if you don't use them for like, say you hang on to it for like a month, it completely loses its scent. Um, and I don't find that when you actually use them in the tub, the scent sticks to you at all. Maybe it's just me, but like, <laughs> their bath bombs are not worth it. They're, they're usually only like about this big. <laughs> They're not big ones at all, and they charge 10 bucks for them. Um, this is another one where the bat's wings flap. Uh, this is a pocket bat holder, shaped like a little bat. I think I had a bat one years ago. It, they usually do some sort of bat one every year. The Ghoul Friend hand soap, I will have to stock up on a few more of those because I, I think I still have one or two from last year. And then they have a Diamond Shimmer Mist in Ghoul Friend. That little skull on it reminds me of that Monster High cartoon. Uh, ghoul Friend Pocket Back. Uh, this is the Haunted Luminary 3 Wick Candle Holder. They do a Haunted House type candle holder like this every year that's like 200 Yeah, $200 is how much this is. So as cool as that is, that is something I never buy. Um, they usually sell out right away, and then people have them for insane prices on eBay. This is super cute. Um, this is a Projector Haunted Scene Wallflower Fragrance, fra uh, <laughs> fragrance Plug. So, I got a Projector Haunted House one last year that puts, like, I got two of them actually last year. One of them puts, like, a witch on the wall, and uh, what is the other one? Bats, I think. I had to get both of them because they were so cool last year. So this one probably puts a ghost, a little ghost light on the wall. I wish they had a picture of what it projects, but this is super adorable and it's going to be hard for me to say no to that one. Um, an iridescent skull three wick candle pedestal. This looks like the soap holder that I got last year, only the soap holder was gold. I know, I just said gold doesn't go with anything in my house. Um, I actually wished that that was silver last year because silver would have matched so much better in the bathroom but this is really cool again fifty dollars is a lot for a damn candle holder but that's pretty um ivy bust three wick candle pedestal a hundred dollars for this it must be a big one i don't know this one doesn't scream to me i just i don't think that's that cool like it matches the green on the witch hand holder i guess but uh, that's just kind of silly to me i don't like that one um, ooh, a haunted tree, a monster tree, three wick candle pedestal, again, $70. It's really cool, but not only do I not have room for that, because I have so much other 
Halloween candle related stuff, but it's just expensive. Vampire Blood Antibacterial Hand Spray. I think that's new this year. I get Vampire Blood stuff every year because I, that is one of my, probably my all-time favorite number one scent from Bath & Body Works. It is like, it's strawberry, it's plum, it's berries, it, it just smells so good. I get so many of the room sprays every year just so I can have it year-round. Um, the room sprays and the hand soaps. But now it looks like they have it in an antibacterial hand spray. Actually, I think last year was the first year they ever had the room spray. That's why I bought so much of it. Um, this is, I, I really want this one. The ne Nightlight Neon Bat Wallflower Plug. So I always get the nightlight ones just because uh, when Aiden gets up to pee at night, or even when I get up to pee at night, I want to be able to see in the bathroom and see where I'm going. I usually keep one in the kitchen and one in each bathroom. Um, but this one is so cute. I like that one a lot. So it, they're like tw 23 to $25 a piece. I already have three of them that I want. That's ridiculous. I'm going to have to cut it down, like I said. Um, the next one is... What is this? Uh, a lanyard and light. Wearable jack-o'-lantern lights up. So this holds your... So it holds the pocket backs. That's cute. If I was still working in a store, like an actual store, I would probably get this for my uh, my little name tag thing and just to have a hand sanitizer on me. This one is really cool. This is a... it's the witch hand holding a poison apple and it's a, again, a night light wallflower plug. Oh, this one's $19, so this one's a little cheaper. I wonder why. Um, but this was like the main one that I wanted when I first saw these. Then there's a little pom-pom black cat hand sanitizer holder. This one, the hat glows in the dark. Then pumpkin carving diamond shimmer mist. I like the shimmer sprays, but they can be so glittery. Uh, I don't remember which one I got a few years ago, but then I never bought any more of them because they're super glittery. Pumpkin carving wallflower. Like I said, I'm not big on the pumpkin carving fragrance. This is super cool. This one's $40. This is a three-wick candle pedestal. It's a pumpkin spider. I may have to get this one. It's so cute, and it's got little vampire fangs. Last year I bought the bat one. It had, like, purple glitter on it, and, like, I'm so afraid of breaking that thing. It's actually in my storage closet right now, like not with anything else because I'm afraid of breaking it. Perfect Pumpkin Foaming Hand Soap. I get this one every year. I stock up on it. This is like my fall scent. Whenever I smell this, I'm like, okay, it's officially fall time. It's it's uh, Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin. Um, I don't know why they call it Perfect Pumpkin. It's just the Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin scent. That is one of the few cinnamony scents that I like because for some reason in the hand soap and like the lotion and stuff it smells so fresh and clean and not super cinnamony like cinnamon gives me a headache I do like the smell of it it's just it gives me a headache when it's too strong um, and in the hand soap and like the body products it smells really good and fresh but then one year I got the the wallflower and it smelled like straight cinnamon and I don't know why it's like their scents can differ so much in the wallflowers, maybe because it's super concentrated, but that happened to me with, like, the, the cotton candy champagne scent, too. Like, their shower gel and stuff smelled amazing. It kind of, like, pink sugar and cotton candy and, like, really fresh and nice, and then I got, like, five of the wallflowers when they were on sale, and now I regret it because I put one in and for some reason it smelled like cat piss. And I'm like, why is this not the same scent? So, just uh, be aware that sometimes the scents smell way different in the wallflowers. This is another really cool three-wick pedestal. It has a raven, like a, a water globe that has bats in it. That's really cool. This one's $80. Craziness. This is a cool little... Oh, this is a lanyard too. A skeleton. Skeleton lanyard in light. I actually like that one better than the, what was the other one? The pumpkin. This one's super cool. Uh, skull car fragrance holder. It's a little sugar skull. I have like a silver skull one from a few years ago. This is another one I really like that'll go nice in my bathroom. This is the skull succulent wallflower plug. I don't think this one lights up. Um, 
which is kind of a bummer. That's kind of a deal breaker for me because I like the the nightlight ones, but that one's so cool. Oops. Here's another skull. This is a single wick candle pedestal, but it's still 60 bucks. Water globe. I don't know if that, I can't really tell if, it says water globe. I'm not sure if that, it looks like it might light up or something. And that one's cool. This one I'm definitely going to have to get, Sour Gummy Lip Gloss. I really like their lip glosses. If you've never tried them, they're, ni they're not like, they're not sticky or anything, and they're very moisturizing, and they have good flavor. Um, but it, I think the, uh, the Sour Gummy one, I'll go with that instead of the Candy Corn one. I'm not a big Candy Corn person. Spider Web Three Wick Candle Sleeve. That one's pretty cool. Last year I got the, the Glow in the Dark Skull one. That was like... That was one of the ones I had to have, um, but this one's $25. It's not like a big fancy light up one or anything. Then a matching hand soap sleeve. If this, sometimes they're made of metal and I don't know why they make the metal ones because they rust. Like whatever metal they're made of, they just rust and like it's gonna get wet because it's on your sink. This one doesn't really look like it's made of metal though. I can't tell. Some of these pictures aren't the, aren't the greatest like quality wise. Spooky Cider Lane. I can't remember what this one smells like. I think it's like an apple cider type scent. But again, I like the artwork on the candle. Uh, this is another cool wallflower plug. Um, it's got the raven on it with the little pumpkin with star cutouts. It doesn't say it's a night light, but I don't know why those little stars would be cut out like that if it doesn't light up. So I'm not sure about that one. Stardust Magic. No idea what that smells like, but might have to try it. I usually get at least one of the new scents in the hand soaps for Halloween just to see if I like it, and then if I do, I'll go back and grab more when they have soap on sale. Sugared Spell. I'm pretty sure that I got this last year in the hand soap, and it smelled really good. It was, it was again, like a uh, candy kind of like pink sugar perfume, if you've ever smelled that. It kind of smelled like that with like a little bit of fruitiness to it. Oh, this is this is the candle holder that I got last year. If it's, I don't know if that's the same thing. This one looks like it's rainbow, but the one I got last year looked like that. <laughs> I think it was just silver on the outside. Vampire Blood, of course. Uh, I was just actually going through my candles and reorganizing stuff, and I do not need this one this year because I have four of the three wicks and four of the single wicks of this. I don't need any more vampire blood. Tell me I don't need any more vampire blood candles. And then vampire blood soap. Oh, that's not the foaming one. I usually always get the foaming ones because uh, I have a child who likes to play in the sink too much and <laughs> is for some reason like the you know, the gel ones just kind of cling to you more so he like he'll get soap all over himself and then not rinse it all off completely so the foaming ones just work better um and there's the foaming one of course so we have a few more things left vampire uh vampire blood pocket back they're not super I guess the artwork's kind of cool this year, but there was one year they had really, really pretty detailed artwork on them. Then the uh, Wallflower, I think I still have a bunch of these too. Wicked Vanilla Woods. Um, I got the shower gel and the spray last year. I didn't get the this body cream because, like I said, I don't tend to use them. Uh, well, like, I'll use them but I won't go through them before they like go bad and smell bad. Uh, the Wicked Vanilla Woods Spray. I might pick up another one of these. I'm like halfway through the one that I got last year. And then, oh, they have a wallflower this year. I don't believe they had Wicked Vanilla Woods in a wallflower last year. And it's like bright purple, it looks like. The, oh, this is a Witch's Cottage flower plug. And it's a projector. Again, I wanna know what, what it projects on the wall. But that one's really cool. That must be like in place of the haunted house this year because I haven't seen a haunted house wallflower plug. Then the the witch's hand hand sanitizer holder. That is really cool. I like I like how it's not completely wrapped around the pocket back. 
I might have to get that for my grandma too. My like side note, my grandmother collects witches and I get her a witch every Halloween. <laughs> like for the last I don't know how many years, she has a ridiculous collection of witch related stuff. So I might have to get her that for her purse. And then the last thing of course is the single wick candle holder, the witch hand that is $50 that I can't decide this year if I want to try to get that or not. It'll probably sell out again. Um, but yeah, that is, this was from Pop Sugar Beauty, actually, that had, I think this is all the entire collection of 64 friggin' things that they came out with for Halloween this year. But I hope you guys enjoyed this type of video. Let me know in the comments. Um, I'm tr trying to get myself up, set up to do like reaction type videos. And like I said, I know I need to get a microphone because this is, it, it's got like, it picks up too much staticiness in the background or something. It's just not crisp enough. So I just wanted to test this out and see how it worked. And I'll talk to you in my next video.